Hi, it's John from Reedies. I'm here at NAMM 2017. I'm in the Taylor booth. We're going to look at some really cool guitars. I'm here with Mark Steele from Taylor, who's a great guy, incredible player as well, and we're going to go through a few of the new, new products. That's it. Talk us through it. Right on, you got it. So in uh, 2017, we did some, some neat things that we were able to do for the first time. And it was really built on the last you know, three years of redesigning all of our, our series of guitars. Yeah. Uh, something that's always been really kind of near and dear to us is we want to create more guitar players. Because our, 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 our tagline really that we say is you know, we really want to think the world's a better place with a lot of guitar players. Yeah. Right? And so in, in keeping with that spirit, we wanted to come up with a guitar that's going to give a brand new student every possibility to succeed. And so when we looked at that, we said, well, what do we have to do to do that? Well, we need to make a guitar that has everything a new student needs and nothing that they don't. Yeah. So you're taking into consideration playability, right? Durability, affordability. Yeah. So starting with playability, we have what we call our Academy Series guitars. And these guitars are basically everything you need without anything you don't. And the playability portion of it is based on the fact that we have a thinner nut width up here. So that makes it easy for a new student or smaller hands to play. So the strings are a little bit closer together. Our string length, which is also known as the scale length, uh, is a little bit shorter as well, which makes the strings a little slinkier, a little bit easier to bend. We also have a lower string height, also known as the string action. Yeah. And again, that makes spreading out chords significantly easier. On top of that, we have this radius or, or this uh, armrest right here. And this is kind of incredible because the story behind this is that normally our armrests are for our more premier guitars, yeah. right? Because it's very labor intensive and it takes a lot of time and it takes a very skilled craftsman to do it. But on this guitar, we were sticking with one type of wood, no binding, which is yeah. hugely important to make this happen. And, and since there was no binding, we were able to actually use machines to make this. So in doing that, we were able to keep this at a price point that was really reasonable. So you get this really comfortable arm here, the low action, the, the shorter scale length, the, uh, the closer, the thinner nut width, as well as a lighter string. And you get a guitar that's incredibly playable. But on top of that, it's a tailor, so we know that it stays in tune well and it sounds great. Yeah. And so really it gives that person playing a guitar for the first time all the, the, the hope to succeed rather than picking up an old bigger guitar, even a, you know, a cheaper guitar, less expensive guitar that has high action and won't stay in tune and yeah. is big and cumbersome to play. That guitar typically winds up in the closet and this guitar will not, hopefully. Yeah. So um, we have three models in this in this series. We've got this, which is our, grand, uh, our Dreadnought, yeah. and we call it an A10, and so Academy is the A. This happens to be an A10E. Whenever we have E at the end of something, it means that we have electronics on board. Yeah. This features electronics, so you can plug it in and amplify it, as well as a tuner. Yeah. So it's really cool. The second one we make is what's called an A12 and an A12E. The A12 is a smaller body grand concert. Yeah. So if you think about a Dreadnought, you think strumming, a little bit more power, a little more right hand, maybe uh, singer-songwriter stuff. With the Grand Concert, you can think almost more finger style playing, so a little bit lighter touch, a little bit smaller body. And so we have that version as well, and again, that comes with both electronics or without electronics. And then kind of the X factor for me is the nylon string. We take the Grand Concert yeah. with a nylon string, with or without electronics, but we also added the 12th fret feature to that guitar, which means the neck is now attached to the 12th fret. Yeah. So on the A10 and the A12 normal, it's 14th fret. The A12 brings the neck in 12th fret nylon, brings it in a little bit closer. So now you have a very light touch on a nylon string. Your hands as close to your body as possible. Armrest, low action, everything. It, it really sets you up to succeed as a new student. So yeah. that's kind of our academy series. And the cool thing is they're available starting in March with the Dreadnought, I think April for the Grand Concerts yeah. or the 12s. And they start at a price point in the States of 500 or 499. I'm not sure what they are in Europe, so I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, but, yeah. but still incredibly reasonable. Yeah. And something that we're trying to point out to people is if you're really gonna give it a shot and try to play guitar, yeah. you wanna set yourself up to win. If you're looking at a three or four hundred dollar guitar, you're gonna be really smart to maybe pony up an extra couple hundred dollars and get a guitar that's exponentially better that will last way longer and is actually a real guitar, I think it's a really good call. And you're not having to fight it as well. You, you, the guitar just lets you do no. what you do. Exactly, yeah. Awesome. And, and it's, it's instantly gratifying, really. You pick up a guitar like this the first time and you can play. So, all right, here's our GS Mini Bass. And this was really built on the chassis of our wildly popular GS Mini series acoustic guitars. Yeah. Um, that's our best selling guitar, actually, the GS Minis. Are, you know, we sell tons of those guitars because they sound great, they play great, and they're portable. Yeah. You can take them anywhere. So in coming up with a bass, we thought, well, why are we making a bass? And we realized that bass players are all too often left out of the equation. And you know, when we talk about that, you know, the examples I like to use is, you know, how many times have you been to a campfire and there's a bass player there? 
they're not. It's not really doable, right? Yeah. They've got the bass is a bigger instrument. You need amplification often, so it's not very portable. So that was one reason we decided, well, let's make the, the bass for people that want to be able to have a portable bass they can take yeah. anywhere and really join the party with the guitar players. You also think about backstage at rehearsals. If there's a vocal rehearsal before you go on stage, there's always an acoustic guitar player, plethora of singers, and the bass players left to play air bass, which is not good. You don't hear it. Uh, you think about on tour buses and actual rehearsals and just sitting around, more acoustic rehearsals. Yeah. Again, it works for that. But more importantly, even than that, perhaps, is that this is going to be a bass that a guitar player that maybe doesn't play bass can learn on yeah. or use for their own demos or their own recordings because it feels very similar to a guitar they're able to play it. And then finally, for children or smaller kids or new students, it's a very easy instrument to play because you're focusing on one string at a time. And uh, last week in meetings, I was talking to Andy Powers, who designed it, and we were talking about the fact that this might be the perfect instrument for somebody that's never played a fretted stringed instrument because when you break a song down to its fundamentals, you're really breaking it down to the root note of a chord, right? So that's what you play on your bass. Yeah. You have a basic rhythm that you're playing. You're practicing playing on frets, but it's in a small, comfortable package that's really easy to play. So we had all these reasons to make it, and that kind of really stays in line with our Academy series of bringing more musicians into the world. Yeah. The challenge was, setting out to make it, we found a lot of challenges. The first was uh, the strings themselves. You can't just take a regular bass string and put it on a really short scale like this. The, the weight of the string, the materials, yeah. it all had to be custom made. So we partnered with Diodaria and created these strings, which are, uh, they're nylon core right. with a bronze wrap. So it's very light, but it has all the tone that we need and it gives the notes a really accurate representation uh, when you fret them out. So once we solved the string equation, then Andy went to work on solving the bridge equation, we did not want a big bulky bridge. So he had to create these new pins. They're called, uh, what are they? It's like a dual prong bridge pin. Right. Hard to say quickly. <laughs> uh, but what it does is, instead of having the string come up and trying to do a 90 degree break angle, which yeah. you do often with guitar strings, bass strings are too big to do that. You yeah. lose tone and vibration. Uh, so what we did here was, he came up with this kind of closed pin idea where you push the string, you just put the string in the hole. As you put this little closed pin, it's got two little prongs, it pushes down and it pushes the string kind of towards the back of the guitar, which lessens the angle of the attack over the saddle. Yeah. It's brilliant, actually. And then the cool thing is, is in those little grooves, there's, in the little forks, there's two little grooves. But as you tighten the strings, it spreads the grooves apart, which holds the pin in place yeah. with the exact amount of pressure it takes to hold the pin in place. When you want to change strings, you loosen them. That loosens the bridge. It comes right off. It's really simple. Yeah. And it's not big and bulky. So those are the two major solves for it to make this bass possible. Yeah. And this one is so good, it really is exceptionally genius that we got a patent on it and I'm sure we'll see some other use of it somewhere down the road. Yeah. Lastly, you have tuning pegs. Well, for a bass, you need bigger tuning posts, but you didn't want the big bulky tuning keys themselves. So we worked with one of our tuning key manufacturers to come up with a bigger post and come up with a smaller body on the back. So the, the guitar is, or the bass is aesthetically proportionate yeah. and it's not super heavy anything like that. And to boot, we added electronics and a tuner so that you can tune it on the fly, you can plug it in, play it live, and straight up acoustically. It's got a great sound to it and a yeah. lot of volume, so it's and quite it impressive. Like a bass. And it sounds yeah. like a bass, exactly. <laughs> so that's really our GS Mini bass, and I think they're available starting in March as well. Yeah, cool. All right, this is our 800 Series Deluxe. And what our 800 Series Deluxe it came from a desire, uh, one from customers, but from internal even, to make a guitar that was kind of right in between our 800 and 900 series. Our 900 series are beautiful guitars, they're incredible, but they're a little more ornate, they have a little more to them. And there's those people that just want something a little more simple, but they want all the comfort and tone that maybe a 900 has to offer, but a little lesser price point and maybe more along the lines of an 800. Yeah. So we took our 800 series and all the, the modifications and designs that we, we redesigned back in 2014, applied them here, but we added three distinct changes that make these guitars really come alive even a little bit more. And the first is this radius armrest back here. So it's a little more rounded armrest with a piece of rosewood in there. Very comfortable, pretty to look at, but also very functional, right? It keeps your arm off the top of the guitar, which lets the top of the guitar continue to vibrate a little more freely, yeah. giving you more tone. Okay, the turbocharger, so to speak, under the hood is we did Adirondack spruce bracing on it. Oh, okay. And when you add Adirondacks, a little bit stiffer wood, it gives us more power. We can hit the strings, we can kind of dig into the guitar a little bit more, yeah. a lot more volume, a lot more power, and so you get that tone. And then keeping your arm off the top, coupled with that, now you have this real cannon of an instrument. Yeah, a real powerhouse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then finally, we went with our Godo 510 tuners, and the Godo 510s are, are singularly my favorite tuners, hands down, on acoustic yeah. guitar. 
All the tuners we use on our Taylor guitars, are, they're great tuners. They're an 18 to one gear ratio. Yeah. These are a 21 to one gear ratio. So in the words of Nigel Tuffman from Spinal Tap, it's three more now, right? Isn't it? Right? So that, that having that added three turns per, per cycle here gives us just a little bit more, um, what's Accuracy. the word? Accuracy, yeah. exactly. Holds them in tune a little bit more. It's just a little bit more detailed. Yeah. And so when you put the, the perfect tuning on there and stays in tune well, the turbocharge under the hood there and the armrest, you get a guitar that's so comfortable that makes you want to play it. And just the sheer comfort. If something plays well, you tend to play better. Yeah. And then when you have the Sonic, uh, Adirondack in there as well, you really have a guitar that just really sings. Plus, it looks amazing. And it looks it? like this. You get Indian Rosewood, thing. back and sides, spruce top, and we actually have three models of this. So we have this, which is our 814CE, wildly popular in the deluxe version. We also have an 812CE 12th fret, yes. which is our smallest body, but all the same bells and whistles, minus the tuners, because we have a slotted peg head on that one. And then we have the real cannon of the bunch, try our 810E deluxe, which is a dreadnought, no cutaway, and that guitar is just made to yeah. kind of dig into. So it's, it's a fantastic line, a fantastic series of guitars we're offering now. Yeah, so I love them. It's the uh, 800 Series Deluxe. No, they are, they're cool. Excellent. Um, yep, yeah, so these are some really cool guitars. Uh, it's really good to see them. We've got them on our website, so if you want to look at www.readies.com, we have them all listed. We're going to have some videos up and that kind of thing as well. And come and try them out in our store. They're incredible guitars, they're a lot of fun to play, and I think you're going to enjoy them.